Hey, this is Mike, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Outlook web application to schedule uh, your calendar so that people know when you're free and when you're not free. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to log into my Outlook web application at oa.wm.edu. You can see that owa.wm.edu right up at the top. And when I'm logged in, I should be able to go to my calendar and you'll see the calendar right here on the left hand side you'll see your whole menu and down below you'll see mail calendar contacts tasks I'll click on calendar to reach my calendar and now to schedule myself for something what I'm gonna do let's say that I have a class that I am teaching um, uh, at let's say four o'clock so I'll go to my 4 o'clock on Friday the 10th and I will double click to create a new appointment at that time. So I double click and my appointment window comes up and now I can schedule it. So I'm going to say um, film class location Washington 315 and now I can choose a start time and an end time and I can uh, show the time as busy and that's basically it. Let's say that I wanted to schedule this not just for one day but for the entire semester. So if you notice up at the top I've got all of these icons. Well one of the icons here is the sort of arrows in a circle. That's a repeat icon. So if I click on repeat now the repetition window comes up and I can choose how often to repeat it. So I wanted to repeat weekly on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. For example, if I'm teaching a Monday, Wednesday, Friday class, and I want it to end by a certain date. So let's say the end of the semester is April 1st. So I'll click on End By, and I'll choose April 1st as the day. Oops, I chose May 1st. Let's choose April 1st as the day, for example. And I'll click on OK. Now, when I hit save and close up at the top here, you'll notice film class is now listed on that Friday. And if I go to the next week's calendar by clicking on Monday the 13th, you'll see film class is now uh, set for every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Let's say I wanted to delete Wednesday the 15th. I double click on Wednesday the 15th. I can either open up the entire series or I can open up this occurrence. I open up this occurrence and I want to delete that one so I'll click delete that's the little X at the top and it's going to ask me if I want to delete the occurrence or the whole series I just want to delete the occurrence and now you'll notice that film class has gone away now let's say I want to delete the whole series I'll double click on that another one of the film classes I can open up the occurrence that's fine and now I'll again click delete that X and I'll delete the whole series. And now you'll notice the Friday and the Monday both went away. So that's how you schedule and delete scheduling items. Um, and if you do that, then people will know when you're free and when to make uh, schedule appointments if they've got you know a, a meeting that they need to invite lots of people to. And that's basically it.